ladies and gentlemen, make it make sense. Why is it that most people choose to get their life together or get their act together after a bad breakup or divorce, right? For your guys, it's called, you know, their origin story when they become this person or for the ladies, it's they get back season or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Why is it that we have to wait and so after a relationship falls apart to get ourselves together, to get back in the gym, focus on financing and budgeting. You mean to tell me the entire time you were in a relationship with said person, you didn't have this together or you couldn't get this together because of this person? I never understood that. Everything that's going wrong in your life is because of this person. You can't get right because of this person. You can't act right because of this person. Is that really what it is? It it, 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 it it boggles my mind because everybody's always talking about how, yeah, you know, the comeback season, this, that, and the other. So you were just a fat fuck. Excuse me. <laughs> my bad. Where you were just a fat some bitch and this, that, and the other because this person was making you fat or you didn't have the energy because you were dealing with this person and this is the reason why you couldn't get it together. I, I just never understood that. I felt like if you wanted to go to the gym, you would just go to the gym, right? You don't need to be by yourself. You don't need to be single in order for you to go to the gym, right? You should be able to make time for fitness and health and all of that shit. It shouldn't be as a result of something negative happening in your life that you all of a sudden want to try this positive shit. You just couldn't want to do that just for you. It's one thing I never understood. For the dudes, you know, you get back in the gym and, oh, I'm just going to make her jealous. Now, it's different if you got rejected by somebody and you wanted to put your best foot forward and show them, oh, this is what you could have had, right? Because this is where I was in the moment. But look at where I'm at right now. That's a little different. Not somebody that's been in a relationship and it's kind of like, oh, well, after... You know, maybe the relationship started out one way. Maybe you were in shape. Maybe as time goes on, got a little pudgy and shit. And, you know, the natural progression of life, if you ask me. I think it's a natural progression of life. You know, even girls, if they have babies and stuff like that, a stretch marks and all that shit's gonna come, right? I think that if you want to keep yourself together for your man, ladies specifically, you'll you'll do what you need to do, right? You, if you want to do what you'll do. It. Gentlemen, if you want to put your best foot forward, regardless whether you're in a relationship or not, you're gonna do it if you want to do it. But all this, oh, watch how I look or how watch how I am after I get go through my breakup or after my divorce, look at my comeback, I think that shit a little weird to me. And I don't know why, because I kind of feel like if you wanted to get your shit together, it don't matter whether you're in a relationship or not, you would do it, right? It shouldn't be something that you do as a result of. I can understand that if the doctor said, look, you fat motherfucker, like, you know, you big, you need to take care of this. That is a reactive approach. I'm trying to understand why you wouldn't take a proactive approach. Like, look, I see what I look like when I wake up in the mirror and it ain't my best look. Yes, I might be in a relationship. Yes, I might have a wife or a girlfriend or a significant other, and we good, and she accepts me for who I am. But I know I could be better than this, right? I know I could look better than this. What, what? Why can't we do that? Why does it have to be as a result of a breakup? And I'm going red pill, and I'm fucking going to get in shape, right? Them bitches going to regret all this, that, and other. I just, to me, it's just corny. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm tripping, right? Maybe I'm tripping, man. Y'all let me know. Comment section below. I know y'all can't see me, but just hear me, all right? It's been a good time, man. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed. Doc is out. Peace.